Now I take back what I said yesterday about the coil. Now that I've examined this coil here, it is the, uh, well, apparently the oldest part of the um, electrical system here. Uh, it's rusted. So, um, yeah. So it's good that I got a new coil. Uh, it isn't to say this one is totally dead. I, I, I rather suspect it's not. But, um, yeah, I do have to take back the fact that the uh, coil looked like it was not so bad. I'll figure out where all the brackets work. It's a shame. The bracket for the coil has a screw in the back of it. Oh, it's a screw and a nut, yeah. And it feels like a common one, so that's not going to be fun. I'd be better off taking the whole bracket off with the bolts to put it into the block and uh, figuring that out. So, hence why I said originally an hour just for the replacement of the parts that I had. Uh, because little shit like that can um, go sideways in a real hurry. Yeah, there's just two uh, 7 sixteenths there to deal with. <clears throat> like I said, these wires also, I think, are oldish. But I'm not going to bother with them. They are. They have a newer style boot on them, so they're not like they're not ancient. They don't come back from the day. In fact, back in the day, I th I'm not even sure they had rubber boots on them. I think they just had uh, metal uh, clips for the sparks. So anyway, yeah, not not ancient. They are silicone, which is very nice. So I'm going to reuse the wires. But you can see down here, this wire losing its chummies. I can still feel the wires in there, so I know it's electrically okay right now. Yeah, here's another one that's all... That isn't the one I was talking about, even when I was talking about one that was wrapped up. But I really should, uh, if I'm going to do this right, rebuild all these wires. Another one here, bad crimp. You can see that crimp actually is busted. That That is the most... Well, it's one of the mo more important wires of the thing that comes right out of the distributor. Um... So, yeah, I will have to label these. I want them to go, obviously, back into the same hole. Um, so I need a Sharpie. I'm just trying to find the uh, parts that I need. I know um, I need a Sharpie and all that. And I know that I need to find my wire and my crimp connectors, perhaps a soldering iron. And also, I did find uh, there is a bolt on the front of the crank. And I have a breaker bar with the, uh, I think it's 7 8 um, And because of the low compression of this engine, I, I think, I can't remember what they are really, 7.5 or 8 to 1 or something like that. Maybe not even. Maybe they're more like 6.5 to 1. Anyway, it's easy to turn the engine over even without taking those work plugs out. So that, that's what I'm going to do when I go to set the, the uh, points. I like to have a lot of control over that. When you're just bumping it with the engine, you don't know whether the points actually should be fully open. I mean, you can see it on the uh, on the lobe of the cam, but um, yeah. So these lobes here, uh, so you can see it's right there. Watch. I'm not sure which way to go, but uh, anyway, that'll come later. Where I'll want to get that one up on a ramp, get it right up on the lobe and then measure the fully open distance. I also have a, um, well, I have a rather large collection of um, engine analysis tools and um, timing uh, timing lights. But uh, a few of those devices I have have a dwell meter, which actually helps set this even more accurately um, to the point where you can get an ignition point that happens just uh, uh, at, at the point. It's kind of like it's kind of like setting the timing a little bit. But I'm not going to go to that low. I just, I'll, I'll get this wide open and then um, we'll, we'll measure it for whatever the, the hell that is. I don't know if it's six thou or ten thou or something like that. But I haven't looked it up in a while. And here you can see what I was talking about yesterday. Like, this looks all right. I mean, you can see how it's worn in a bit on the top connector. And, uh, you know, these just, they eventually wear off and they just don't, they don't make a consistent connection anymore. Uh, we know we're in here to do the points. There's the condenser. And this wire here that's taped together, this is the one that I think is fucking shot. Like, it's flimsy. It's real bad. I, I, that has to be addressed. 
Now, unfortunately, it's a cloth-covered wire, and it goes down into the thing. I don't think I can get to the bottom of that very easily. Um, well, you can kind of see it right there. Um, I didn't want to take that entire plate out, and I don't want to take the distributor out necessarily. So, there might be something up with that. If I can't rebuild this wire properly, we might be in, in terrible trouble. But that's the one that I've not been enjoying. And you see, it's thin enough to go down in between, you know, like, it's just, that's no good. That was eventually just going to wear out. So, yeah, I would say if I take that wire off, that whole wire will just come straight apart. But it is important. We need it. And I forget how much spring there is in the, uh, in the advance. That's pretty high, actually. Yeah, these springs uh, affect that um, ratio. So, yeah, and we got a new cap, but still looks pretty good in there. I think it's a little bit worn on the center connector there, but nothing looks really gummed up or anything. Should try to get this out of the way such that I just don't have to worry about it. Um, yeah, because I'll mark these wires later and make sure they go back onto the cap properly. Or, even if I don't, I'll just bring the new cap and take them off one at a time and put, yeah. <clears throat> so, that's kind of an overview of the thing. I think I will start with the coil, just because it's kind of right here. And also, if I get this out of the way, I'll have even more room for activities in this area and be able to get my fat little hands in there and get her done. So anyway, I guess that's an introduction to this whole thing. I'm still looking for stuff and uh, it's still possible to run out of day or or uh, but we're, we're gonna we're gonna give her a go. Huh? All right, I figure you know that wire sucks. Um, what do we have here? Yeah, I figure I might as well. Well, there's another thing. Fully loose ass. Anyway, there's no way I'm going. We gotta, we gotta go forward with what we're doing here. I was just gonna say, this is not well connected. Very poorly connected. That's just the condenser bit. I don't think that matters. But this is the important wire of the whole fucking program, and that I think is what's stopping us here. But. We're still going to um, do our do our thing here. Now I'm going to start by disassembling. I did bring a magnet because that fucking that nut is going to fall down there. I kind of hate the way this exists like that. Um. Yeah. Little lucky punk. I'm not feeling lucky. Oh! oh, oh, oh. Uh, we are lucky. Yeah. Now that's going to be a bitch to get back on there. Bit of a shit design, if you ask me. So there's that wire. That thing's fucking pooched. Like, it's fucked. Like I say, as soon as I take that, we'll take it up later. Alright. So. We need a parts bin somewhere. Take the condenser out first, because it has no... I do have the battery disconnected, so I'm not going to get any shock. This is all kind of low voltage going through here, but... Um, yeah. Hate the common th screw I've told you, but in 1951, that was common as fuck. All right. Okay, got those. I am going to need a parts or screw bin. So we've got the rotor and the condenser out. 
Oh shit, there's a whole other... I don't know if you can see it, but down here there's a wire that I forgot entirely about. I guess it's a ground. But I thought they just grounded themselves to the plate. Like, I just assumed that the points were grounded right down to the bottom of the, uh... uh the bottom of the thing. <gasps> Motherfucker. Oh, no. Okay, anyway. Here's a tiny-ass wire. Yes, it is, uh, it's just co braided copper, so that is the ground. So that's alright. Um, but I fucking, I need that screw. Mm. Look, I brought the magnet, but I don't. I didn't hear where it hit. Picked up a lot of junk, but not the junk I need. Catching lots of iron. Regrettably, is also a black screw, which is not necessarily catch the light. Yeah, of course the magnet sticks to everything. Fuck. All right. Well, I can at least identify that screw, I guess, when I get this one out. Maybe we better keep the magnet fucking nearby. Yeah, the whole reason I hate that common. Yeah, this is more difficult than I thought. I should really should just magnetize the screwdriver. Yeah, so regrettably, I'm looking for something a lot like that. Under a dark car in the grass. Well, it's still not impossible. I kind of heard a drop, but I just didn't hear where it made its final landing. Alright, so that's the guts out of the... Uh, that's the guts out of her. Going to hit these two bolts here that uh, hold the bracket on for this uh, coil. Because as I mentioned, there's just a screw and a nut here holding it to the bracket. And just like I demonstrated with the other thing there, it's easy to lose that fucking shit. So I'll take the whole bracket off. Take these wires out. And uh, But yeah, I want to hit that with some penetrant first. I promise you I'm not sponsored or endorsed, but uh, my favorite shit is uh, PB Blaster. I think it's kind of an as-seen-on-TV product, but um, the shit is always treating me pretty good. There are many others. Uh, WD-40 kind of has a uh, penetrating oil, one that's not normal WD-40. But this stuff, uh, it bust bolts pretty good. It's also quite flammable. Oh, and I don't have the wand anymore. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Let's soak those cunts down. Okay, now... We won't be starting it today, but just so you know, a whole bunch of that slathered onto the uh, exhaust manifold. And I'm sure that that would be uh, pretty exciting if we were actually to start. Alright, I'm going to let that shit soak in. For a bit, actually. Tiny bit of play here, but that's not... It's actually nothing. Just rattles. No worries, I did notice this belt. Not in spec. That has way too much. This one's not bad. Could still be done, but yeah, the generator one, it's it's loose. Okay, let's let that uh, soak in and uh, I shall be back. Interestingly, I'm willing to bet, although it doesn't have a washer on it, that the screw that holds the condenser in will be the same size that I need. Um, We'll only go that far if we have to. Or if I can't find uh, acceptable replacement. As much as I'd love to take the distributor right out of here and, and uh, put some brake clean through or whatever, uh, well, it wouldn't be impossible on this particular thing. I could easily mark where the stuff is and put it back. But I don't want to go further than I need. Exactly know what those are gonna be. Oh, good. Yes. One half inch, bro. Let's see where it goes. Oh, yes. 
Okay. Oh, it's stiff. stuck of course still not hand these are much easier bolts to get than those screws I'm talking about but everything is doable I guess I should also, right now, take those wires off. I think these are not going to, oh yeah, Jesus, getting lucky with the choices. Now this is the line wrench that you ordinarily would use on a, uh, on a brake line or a hydraulic line or whatever, so you can kind of get it over the, anyway, it's, uh, that's what I had. So. Lucking out with the uh, guesses of today. The new coil comes with new nuts, which is good because these are rusted to fuck. And that means I don't have to worry about dropping this one in the drink. But you see, all the wires feeding this thing have some issue. Cracked. Broken, broken. Should have hit that with some shit too. No, no, no. I think I shall. Uh, yeah, we're not gonna we're not gonna be in a position to heat that up. I'm gonna put them in the tin anyway. <gasps> oh, fuck. She says. Now, I was already talking about that, and why, uh, you know, uh, why would Murphy... I'm going to put these two into this. Uh, maybe they won't quite go. I'll just keep them together. I know that these are the... can't actually see the... All right, so those are the bat ones. If I have to, I will rerun these. I've still got to find my... i uh, got a big coil of wire somewhere of the right gauge. So those go to the battery, ultimately. And... I'm okay with that. I don't care if I have to rerun these entirely rather than fix them. This one I have to fix because it's set inside the uh, distributor. I don't, I can't. Yeah, I'd have to rebuild the entire thing. So. Oh, god damn, that's tight. So yeah, that's been on there a while. I would say Dad did not replace this coil. Probably just ran it as is. As long as it kept starting, fuck with it. Which is a perfectly legit attitude. Just doesn't always suffice in every single uh, situation. Yeah, these are just, you know, they're taped on there. It's the one just benefit of the open wrench there, so you gotta Yeah, and this one we'll just put right off to the far side. And that is called uh, I forget if it's ignition or something like that. We'll find out when we get it out. Oh, sorry, I keep hitting the fucking camera. So yeah, 
on closer inspection, this coil's rusted right the fuck out, and uh, who knows what that ends up doing to the uh, mixture that we got in there, some oil and coils. But uh, I'm not saying it's dead, but I'm saying it should be replaced. And that's what we're fucking going to do. Now here's why I didn't flat head, not on the back, guaranteed to lose if you just tried to get this out of the bracket. So those two bolts on the bracket are much easier to do than that. So, fucking beauty, eh? Um, that basically takes care of the stuff that, uh, freeing up the stuff that we know is getting replaced, except for the cap. I've left the cap on in order to tell me where the wires went. Right? Because they gotta go back. So that'll be the last thing I disassemble. Right, yeah. buy these at the dollar store and I also sometimes I don't have any magnets on this one sometimes I buy some round magnets that I glue onto the back there too so sit in the well all right so I'd say uh really we're still on track in that uh, I said it'd be an hour just to uh, kind of prep all the new parts and uh, we're really only at the 20 minute mark or whatever I'll have to check the video and some fucking around in there too to uh, still got to look for that other, other nut. I think I'll be able to get it with the magnet. I'm just not sure where it is right now. And, um, yeah. So I'm going to do a little bit of planning. Get my wire. Figure out the lengths. Figure out what to do about this motherfucker. Because, yeah, this is pathetic. You know. There's still some copper on there, so... The, but I think that this wire is just fucking right dead in there. Hopefully Dad didn't do that. Ah, I would have done it in a pinch and do anything on the side of the road. <laughs> Start it again, but... Anyway, I uh, will be back shortly. Alright, well my uh, Bennett four-dimensional uh, filing system has kind of let me down a little bit in that uh, I know I've got a bunch of this gauge wire. Um... I think even what I've got here will reach over there if I need to replace one of those uh, battery ones that goes all the way back, but I don't have a second one of this length yet, so I'll have to locate that. But I did find probably 18 gauge. Um, it's got a connector on it, so obviously I was doing something with and I would say that that'll be perfect uh, for that little one. That is the igniter wire, I think. That's the one that uh, makes the coil ignite. Get your high voltage. Um, I'm not going to do anything with this um, ground here, except maybe make sure it's tight. <sighs> oh, that's going to be difficult because that screws under the plate. Anyway, um, yeah, I guess they just they wanted to have a ground there. What I'm going to do? There's not enough left of this wire here. I mean, it's kind of shit right to here, so I have to cut it there, and that's going to be a shitty place to try and crimp something, and also, will that crimp allow the flexibility of this wire to go back to where it did over at the points? I'm a little bit, uh, it's a little suspect. Might have to be something I try to solder rather than uh, crimp. I do have some smallish uh, crimp things, but like I say, they, they, they will add a rigid point where you can't bend it anymore, and I don't know if it'll go around the condenser. I'm also trying to examine whether I even fucking bother with the condenser at all. I'm, I've, I've tried to look up the consequences of that. If it really is radio interference, I don't give a fuck. But uh, we'll have to see. And if that whole, if this whole area was open, I could do whatever I want with this wire, and it could still go where it needs to go. So that may be something to consider. I just want to make sure there's no consequences that it, uh, that I haven't taken into account. Like say, if it's a, if it's a suppressor for EMF, and that's it then uh, fuck it. I don't care. It'll, by the time you see this, it'll be too late to leave the comments down below on the on the uh, uh, condenser uh, delete, but I haven't, I, I don't know how I'm going to get there yet. We'll, we'll find out. I do want to double check. 
I know it's not possible to know everything. Uh, yeah, anyway, I'm going to go collect some other things and uh, shall be back. All right, somewhat ironically, I was talking about uh, my filing system and its uh, failures. But I think uh, it's actually in the uh, trunk of the Merc. <laughs> uh, also, Davey had a blue metal kit um, that he had in the in all the muggies that had a whole bunch of uh, different wire segments and uh, uh, crimp connectors and uh, tools. And I think it is also in the trunk of the Merc. Now, the biggest problem with that is that uh, because it's all uh, electrically actuated, I can't even open the trunk right now in its current state. So... I have pulled out the back seat to get in there before, but uh, yeah, I'm not good. That's not happening today. Let's put it that way. Um, anyway, I don't think that's uh, I don't think that's crucial. I think I have just enough shit to work with, and if I have to get a longer uh, higher gauge wire to go back to the battery, I will uh, easily pick that up when I'm in town. So. Uh, Okay, I am in fact going to leave this as part one, um, because I've told you that this wire job and whatnot is going to get a little bit dumb. So I will put um, cap back on. You can tell that wire just it doesn't have a lot of integrity. Pretty sure that was a big part of her problem. Anyway, I'll just roll over the cap here and just make sure that it's out of the wetter. Yeah, well, we only got half the, well, we got the tear down. I made a list of the plan for the uh, wire runs and uh, I don't see any reason why both these I shouldn't uh, just, I'm going to redo them both. I mean, that's that's the only way to go. <laughs> I am worried about the one inside there. It's going to be a pain. Just because there's not a whole lot of wire to deal with, and it's a uh, cloth coating. Hard to strip. Well, I just cut the cloth off, I guess, and strip. But, um, yeah. So anyway, I would say I'll be back for part two, and we'll uh, finish this up. Talk to you soon. Stay dirty. Have fun.